105.5 Hits FM. It's Taylor B. along with you. And it's time for the final edition of What's My Dad Angry About? It's Daddy B. Welcome back, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. It's me, Daddy B. Back for the last time. The very, very last time for our What's Daddy B. Angry About? segment. So, anything got you angry today? Well, I'm angry that I'll have to go back to just talking to myself and, uh, uh, you know, being angry with myself because I have no outlet now, but maybe I'll take it out on your mother. Oh, well, that's certainly not nice. And uh, are you just going to stop talking to me altogether? Pretty much. Pretty much. I figured I put enough time and uh, yeah, it's all done. Oh, so you're now that I'm, I'm leaving the radio, you're just done with me, are you? Who are you again? No <laughs> all right. Well, you know. If you're going to poke holes at me, I'm going to poke some holes at you. So today, I was out for breakfast, and a couple of comments were made about Daddy B. A lot of people are going to miss you, but some people made some great points. Oh, yes? Good. Wait, wait. Are they millennials? No, actually, they're not. Okay. And this one is funny, coming from a Uh non-millennial. On this segment, you have often taken aim at technology, saying we are too dependent on technology. But a few segments ago, you were talking about how you wish all money was digital. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, um, as usual, I like to pick and choose what I'm angry about. So uh, one day I might be angry about something, and the next day maybe I'm not so much. And that's my prerogative. (laughs) So basically you're saying you don't care. (laughs) I really don't care. Uh, That's basically how I live my life. Um, Don't know, don't care. And it only bothers me if it's bothering me in that moment. All right. Well, fair enough. So where do you stand now? Do you still want all money to be digital or have you warmed back up to the idea of having a bank note? No, as a matter of fact, I'm even more on the fact that uh, I uh, want all money digital. Um, And the other thing is I would also like to do away with all forms of paying for that digital thing by touching glass instead of buttons. I want to touch buttons. Because uh, with this cold and flu season here, I like to wear my gloves. And uh, it doesn't work so good when you're touching a touch screen. So make everything uh, by computer and allow me to press buttons and I'll be very happy from, let's say, September to June. Okay, well, that's a pretty good chunk of time for you. Mm -hmm. Now... If everything is done by buttons, what about the tapping feature of your credit card? Are you still going to allow that? Well, as a matter of fact, I I grew to like the tap feature, but somehow I've now um, done something to my card and the tap doesn't work anymore. Isn't that weird? You probably had it too close to your phone. Well, isn't it time that we got over that? How do you get over that? Why is our phone still a... Uh, an issue for other bits of electronics. I mean, if they're so smart, can't they stop doing that? I don't know. Well, maybe that's the question we really need to be asking before we implement the buttons back. I mean, there's lots of questions. There's lots of questions to be asked. And again, uh, I'll just put it into the uh, bucket of, uh, I really don't care. Well, all right, that's fair. Now, moving on to another thing. You said you were going to go zip lining before you went to St. Martin. Right. And you never did. What's that about? Well, because um, I've yet to find a zip line that will handle the weight. I'm, I'm sad to say. I'm like, a, I'm like a rocket going down there because I think I, I exceed the, uh, the uh, weight limit on these zip lines. So it's a little bit embarrassing, so it's best not to ask me again. Okay, well, that's very fair. I thought you were going to say something else. But you know what? We're not even going to push you on that. But you know what, Dad? That's, that's kind of it for what I got for our segments. You were you were a great addition to the show, and I think I can speak for the entire listenership of North Durham Radio when I say you definitely brought some comedy on a Friday afternoon, and for that, we thank you. Now, are you sure well, there's me, nothing you're mad about? Well, I'm not mad, but just let me say that it's been a pleasure speaking to your audience uh, once a week, thereabout, and uh, I'm very proud of you, and uh, I know that you'll rock any situation that you're going into and that you'll still remain active in the um, town there. So every, everybody wins. And you know, Dad, it's it's pretty special that I was able to bring you along on my first real career journey, 
right? Like how many kids can say, oh, my dad got to come to work with me once a week and we had a great time? I like to think of it as I brought you along on my <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Oh, okay. Well, it works, it works that way in my mind. On that note, Dad, I think it's time to wrap up this final edition of What's Daddy Be Angry About? And today you didn't really have much to be angry about, so I guess that's why we're leaving it off here. No, I'm very grateful, and I'm very proud of you, and I'm very happy, and guess what? What? Bye forever. <laughs> All right, well, I will see you later, Dad, because you're not getting away from me. Darn it. All right, hon. Okay. Bye-bye, Dad. Bye-bye.